Well, hey there, everybody. Literally scared the absolute shit out of me because I wasn't prepared for this super chill music to go Pikachu, and it spooked me really good. It was great. Good job. Welcome in, everybody. Welcome in, Snack, Ryan, Hoy, uh, and then obviously Burton, Aiden. Welcome in, everybody. I hope you guys had fun. Uh, I know half of you were playing Oh Watch. Bomb costs 10, but you only have 2 gold. Neat! I don't know what that means. Welcome in, welcome in, welcome in. Hi, everybody. The F-150 drive-by cracks me up, actually. That's pretty great. <laughs> Should make me a little, a little bigger. There we are. We're doing great, guys. I was in the midst of putting out the announcement on, like, uh, social media and all that, and I hadn't quite gotten to it yet. So, all the beacons and everything should be fixed, hopefully, by the next stream. I'm starting using a different third-party thingy for it. So we'll kind of see how that goes. Doot, 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 doot. Thank you for the water. I mean, put me in coach doesn't necessarily apply to this, but like, you know. 
Now everything is posted and I can pay attention. Lol. Test out. Well, it's put me in coaches for like Overwatch or something. <laughs> I need a taller chibi is what I need. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. Enjoy games. Thanks for the lurk. Thanks for the lurk. So how is everybody's Wednesday going? Tell me all about it. What you guys been up to? Anything crazy? Anything fun? Anything just super chill, which is never a bad thing? <laughs> Welcome in, Lilith. I really gotta give Kisa all these snacks. It's been a while. I miss Kisa. And Overwatch, yes, good stuff. Planning to kill my players with a rock from the fire plane. That doesn't sound terrifying at all. I love it. Uh, migraine plus sleep problems, and I feel shit in the best way. <laughs> I I hope at least the migraine goes away. Like that's probably the worst out of that bunch. I feel like so. I do hope you feel better. And it has been it been a busy day. Oh boy, getting a whole boy. Why has it been so busy? Thank you for the we and the posture. Migraine is the reason why I cannot sleep. That's very fair. Absolutely. I mean, probably one of the obvious things to ask, but hopefully you've taken something for it, you know? And, like, feel a little better, maybe. I do hope you feel better, honestly. And I'm just a little guy with low batteries. A lot of errands today by my standards. Very sleepy now, but chilling with my needle felting. Good stuff. Good stuff. I'm glad you get the opportunity to just kind of like chill and relax. Because everybody needs that. I also had a very busy adulting day today. And I only got home maybe an hour ago. I spent a little bit of time over in uh, Every Oars channel and it was, it, was, uh, it was fun. And I'm very excited to kind of dive back into Fagrim. But actually I'm, I'm also really excited just to talk with everybody because like... I don't know. I like talking hour. It's fun. It's an enjoyable time, you know? What are you, uh, what are you needle felting? Is that, I don't know a lot about anything to do with, with sewing or stitching or anything like that. Is it at all similar to, like, cross-stitching? I've done that. I I understand how to do that. That's the only kind of sewing I've really done outside of like practical sewing of clothes or whatever. And no, my principle I don't take medicine. Medicine loses its function if the body gets used to it. So it's only it was, I feel that absolutely. I absolutely feel like because I hardly ever take medication myself, even like something as simple as Tylenol. Uh, I only take it if. Well, if I end up with a migraine, I suppose. But it's very few and far in between, for sure. I don't know what this is, but this is kind of like some nice jovial background noise here. This isn't so bad. By the way, if anybody ever hates a song that happens to be playing, just say skip. I'll go ahead and skip you. Or skip it, not you, obviously. Lull. 
Needle felting is just jabbing a needle into wool uh, to kind of sculpt it into shapes. Currently making an ice cream cone pin cushion for my new sewing pins. That sounds honestly pretty amazing. I am excited for your ice cream cone. <laughs> I hope you got appropriate colors, but even if you didn't, I bet it'll look cool. And, wait, so enough real life problems, let's create some fictional problems. I like your attitude! Alright, so, we've kind of like been really, really top down here, and I think we have a lot of good ideas in here. I really like it. I would like to spend some time building out some, some basic gods at some point during today i would also be interested a lot because we we touched a lot on like different countries or whatever um or different types of of leadership and, and whatnot oh yeah then we did the damn time system that's right i forgot about the time system that shit was crazy what a good day um i was kind of wondering if maybe have a good lurk we'll see you when you come back uh, I was kind of thinking I might start by making like a rough draft of the world by using Incarnate and kind of get some input from everybody. But uh, I don't know. I haven't, I haven't really decided too, too much what we're doing. I think I need to skip that. That's getting a little, a little grating on my brain. <laughs> Heard Kim Jong Un convince this people that Western math is made up because he said one plus one equals a bigger one. You know, I'd believe that. <laughs> Makes a bigger water drop. I mean, you're not wrong. It it does it does make a bigger water drop. Objectively speaking, that's probably not the smartest mathing I've ever heard, but like. Is it wrong? No. Is it practical? No. <laughs> Maybe we should have another god that killed the math god, and then the math god is just like... Um, oop. I accidentally flipped down here. Alright, we gotta read about those. Read about... On... Sat. Question. They have the gods a hierarchy, like a social status inside the, the uh, Patreon, or the... Yeah, Patreon. You know, maybe that's something we need to discuss. I like this plan. So let's start with gods. That's never a bad plan. In fact, gods are going to get their own little section here, because I made them a folder. So we're going to do uh, gods overview. And bump right into the gods folder. So, the Pantheon. Yeah, that's it. I was like, Patreon doesn't make sense. Pantheon. That's the that I got. I can do words, guys. We're doing great. This is fine. Um. Okay. So let's think about this. We got. Well, actually, we should take a look at this specifically. Uh, right here. So using our using our time system we developed, the days are named after at least five gods that build all of creation, quote unquote, right? You can't talk, I can't write, we're a good team. <laughs> we're doing great. Uh, so we've got earth, fire, water, air, and life. Um, and that gives us our five days of the week, which is great. We should probably make a god associated with each of the moons, which I think is practical. And then they'd have to have some level of hierarchy uh, for the eight-year cycle, right? Uh, pronounce these right here, Ryan. The actual... Uh, I'll go ahead and pronounce them anyway. So we have Thursday, which sounds a lot like Thursday or first day, but it's Thursday. We have 
Erd instead of Earth. Here, I'll do this. We have Erd, which is the Earth one. We have Fu Wei Your Ear Where Where Were Were Where I think it's for where we're gonna go with where. They are gods. They don't need a pronunciation. <laughs> we have, uh... Ak... Wur... By the way, we did kind of touch on these pronunciations, but I don't think we ever set them in stone, so, like, this isn't necessarily a bad thing to do. And then we got, uh... Ah! We'll get there. Wire. Why? It's like ire, but I don't think anybody's gonna get that. So why? Er. <laughs> great. These are great pronunciations, right, guys? Like, loving it. So good. The DM will have to pronounce it. You are accurate. And very correct. So I am happy we're going through pronunciations. It'll be helpful later, for sure. Um, what I am going to do is I am going to snatch these up real quick, and I'm going to shove them in up here. Ooh, wait. So that we can kind of work off of these. So. We also need eight... Main gods. So starting off, are these the eight main gods? Or are they other? Because each year is divided up into eight months, so it would make sense if the eight months were each month is a particular god. Actually, yeah, let's stick with that. I like that idea. Also, what does the work week look like then? Do people work five days straight? Is it four and one? I guess that would probably be dictated by their religion, right? Hmm. Well, let's think broadly. So maybe the vast majority of people take Fours Day off to celebrate life, and they work the other four days. But that doesn't necessarily mean everybody takes the days off, right? Maybe it's just government, or maybe it's just uh, nobility. No, that still wouldn't make a lot of sense. No, because you still need bread every day and stuff like that, right? So, like, not everyone be able to, would be able to take it off. I mean, no one ever gets a break, ever. Not, not unless, because uh, we do have that one eclipse day every, every uh, month. Hmm. 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 Yeah, maybe for maybe uh Thursday is uh first day. First fur first day. I like first day. That sounds nice. He gets seven breaks a year. And we asked the question, how long is the day? We were going to keep the day at 24 hours, just to not fuck with spells and such. The month's going to get a little, 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 little crinkly if they get to the point where they're like, well, it says, you know, it takes 30 days, but there's not 30 days in a month anymore. So, like, at that point, we kind of have to do a little math. But that's okay. We have math rocks for that. So, 24-hour day... 20 day month, 8 months in a year, which means 2 months per season. 
so we got I guess let me do this here um Gods of creation should be all the basic ones, right? Hmm. Let's do that. Okay, that's that. Uh, and then if we have the creation ones, which are very basic primordial kind of things, they wouldn't necessarily be super specific. I'm just spitballing here, so if you guys have ideas, please like throw them out at me. Um, so we have our basic gods of creation, which would be like the toppity toppity top tier. Many goddesses. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know why it makes sense if creation is goddesses, but in my brain, only a god of creation is the world ever and exponentially expanding. Uh, I'm not sure that it would be ever expanding. It would have been, in my my idea. My, my thought process for this, which is a great thing to bring up, would be that the five gods of creation are very much like the, the fundamental things that created the world, but the gods beneath that would be the main pantheon. Uh, I don't know what we'd call them, maybe just the gods. So if I had a tier system... If I was thinking that, it would be Gods of Creation, which would be the basic ones. And then you would end up with whatever the next tier of gods is, which would be all of the the main people, right? So, uh... Actually, hmm. do they sustain it or only create it and then peace out? I suppose... They would probably have created and pieced out, maybe? I don't know. What's your guys' thoughts? reason why gods don't mess with the world is the lesser god of bureau bureaucracy since it came to the pantheon all gods needed to fill out paperwork for every action they take lol i actually think having a some sort of god of like uh i, I don't know how to describe it but like documentation or something might be funny so gods let, let me think gods of creation come in they make the world because i'm kind of I'm, I'm channeling kind of legend of zelda vibes with the three goddesses that created everything right it's kind of my thoughts there um although this is a little bit more expanded than that of course depends maybe they were killed and if they do sustain it can they be targeted why did they create it for prayers to feel their power were they bored hmm do you think that they shouldn't be their own tier do you think they should be part of the main pantheon because the reason I separated I wanted the main san uh, pantheon separated was so that each moon had an appropriate or an associated god so, for example, you know,
the sailor's moon might be the god of the seas. Uh, the merchant's moon might be the god of coin or something, whatever it may be. Or maybe the, the god of riches. A uh, god of concepts could be mortals that were un uplifted by the gods because they changed the world through their own effort. Oh, that's a good idea. We could have we could have like gods that became gods through acts of incredible uh, activity, action, something along those lines. I'm gonna drop that in there for the moment. Oh, and here's an idea. They had an enemy being a being of imperfect imperfection and sin. It's going to corrupt their form, so they split that force. It's all race of people created the world to have a place to place it. I do enjoy that, actually. So what if I did... CR use... So what if what if we had Ryan to to capitalize on this idea here because I kind of want to run with that and see where we get if we like it. So we'd have the creation and the destruction and to prevent imperfection and sin. That's not necessarily destruction. versus primordial chaos. I see. I kind of think we'll leave, we'll leave that life. I like life. What would this be? Because I don't feel like destruction is quite the, the right word for that, right? I think it could... Uh... <laughs> Too tired tonight, so I bitch. All right, have a good sleep. Enjoy your sleep there, Sweet Pea. Thanks for popping in and doing the lurks. I always appreciate. So I'm gonna put Primordial Chaos here for the moment, because I think this name needs to be different. I'm gonna go maybe, uh, let's, let's go find some synonyms. Synonyms. I like ruin, but that's kind of basic, unfortunately. Ruination could work. That one's pretty broad. With the opposite of creation, yes, it would be. Creation and destruction kind of go hand in hand. Life could be something different. It could be creation. It could be whatever. Because if it was life, it would be death. If it was creation, it'd be destruction. So maybe we need to figure out what this name is before we figure out that name. You know what I mean? I like I like DK. So so far we've got Ruination, Decay. Annihilation has a good ring to it, but it's a bit extreme. Not really sure that that captures it. I think decay could work. Mm. <laughs> Genocide. It's amazing. I think that might be too extreme, but I like your enthusiasm. 
Uh, let's let's try out decay. If I had decay, I think creation would be an appropriate alternative. So creation and decay. Well, decay implies that it was created and it and it dies, but that doesn't mean it's it's chaotic or destructive necessarily. I think I'm getting too stuck on the word here. I think that's my problem. So for now, we're going to stick with Decay, and we're going to move forward with it. And I'll come back to it later if maybe something sticks, or if you guys have an idea. I think that's that's going to be my best bet. Um, Think to let our lords, our, our lord enemies' life. Think to let our lord enemies' life is too extreme, but I like your dedication. My brain cannot deduce the meaning of the sentence, and I am sorry. <laughs> A life. Mm, 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 mm. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So, creation and decay. Good stuff. So, creation became these four elements, Ryan. Is, is that what you were mentioning, by the way? Or is it all five are against what is primordial decay? Primordial? Primordial chaos? Primordial decay. Should decide his worst mercy is here to say. <laughs> I mean, we could put something in there because I'm sure we're going to have some. I mean, for all intents and purposes, you're going to have racist gods, right? Like, there's somebody out there that's going to not like all the other races and they're going to be like, yeah, no, my race is the best race because there's always one. Four, five, six, seven, eight. And then from here, we'll go back. That'll be a uh, lower god. So we'll get there. Could be an evil cult. Exactly. It's always how it goes. So I'm going to rename some of these. So we have gods of creation, which are these. And we're just going to go ahead and remove this since we know what they are. And we're going to leave that there. Right? Gods of creation. Now we're back on months. So we have the Sailor's Moon, which would be God of the Seas, right? Or God of the Oceans, but I think Seas always has a nice ring to it. And the Merchant's Moon, which would be God of Riches or Treasure. Uh, we have the Warrior's Rune, which is red, so maybe the God of War or Combat or... Um, Hmm. Bloodshed, perhaps? Should probably be something a little more obvious, maybe. God of... I mean, you could even make that death, but I think maybe... Uh... Shit, what were the first ones? God of Violence. I feel like that's too on the nose. <laughs> Not that combat's better, right? But, like, you know what I mean? God of... Eh, we'll come back. Got the Hunter's Moon, so maybe God of, uh... Plenty, perhaps? Or the Woods? God of the Tree Folk.
God of Survival. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know that that one fits in. I want it to, but I don't. I don't think it does. Maybe that's somebody else. Maybe the Trader's Moon is God of Survival. Trader's Moon is God of selfishness, or perhaps survival, or perhaps. If you're a traitor, why are you a traitor? That should be the question I'm asking. If you're a warrior, why are you a warrior? Why are you a fighter? Why are you choosing to engage with, with things in combat? Or, or to fight like that? That is the question that I'm looking for. Money. It's a great statement, but I do have God of Riches here, which is Merchant's Moon. Which I feel like could be even the God of Greed, perhaps? Or maybe... No, riches and greed kind of are very close. Right? They feel close. Maybe envy? God of despair? So, because they despair, they change sides? Imagine they are the gods of sins of the sins that were broken. God of greed for money god. Okay, this could be... How does that apply to uh, the Sailor God? I kind of like the idea. But that would be a very negative uh, <laughs> God inclination, right? In theory, too. High table, way out there kind of thoughts. These could also have different names in different countries if I wanted to do that. So, like, God of Riches could be God of Greed instead, right? Depending on where you're from. God of Pride. Even if that is under his... S-S-Kenor. Eskenor? S Eskenor. God of Pride, Eskenor. I don't know what Eskenor is. <laughs> sailor God, the God of Pride. Why would the Sailor be the God of Pride? Also, we're not super stuck on Sailor's Moon, but I, I do like Sailor's Moon, so I kind of want to get rid of it. I guess I am stuck on it. Never mind, I lied to you. From the pride of tackling the sea, showing mankind the masters of the world. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay, I get where you're going. I get where you're going with that. Possibly. I like the idea. I like the idea. Let's see where we're going here. Conquering paths untraveled and roads unpaved. What about... I guess this is kind of a takeaway thought here, but like, should all the gods be evil? Was Eskinor one of the cooler... Oh, I see. That's probably why I didn't recognize what you're talking about. I do know that there's an anime called that, I've just never seen it. I think we might be off track. I like the idea of having sins and using them in some capacity, but I'm not sure that they apply here, unless I wanted to make all the gods kind of uh, cruel or evil, or I could just give them alternate names then, perhaps. So, God of Pride, God of Seas, God of Pride, God of Riches, Greed, so like that. Wait, is this the same world as before? Does this have the smoothie god? It does have the smoothie god. We're kind of um, approaching the gods from like the top of the hierarchy down. So the smoothie god would be like in the lower god section. Um, right now we're making the eight main gods, if you will, which will be uh, dictated or related to the moons. 
or the months that they're appropriate in. So, like, the god of the seas is related to the sailor's moon. Uh, the god of riches is related to the merchant's moon. And uh, and so on. And Yes. And the gods are inherently influencing their followers to take part in reckless and dangerous acts. Subtle it there that their followers end up in situations where they die. The god is the god of sins are trying to get the people who are split from the primordial chaos to die and release their souls. That sounds like... Okay, stay with me on this idea right here. Hey, welcome in, Gabby. Hope you're doing well as well. Hope you've had a wonderful Wednesday. Uh, welcome back in. We're discussing gods and breaking down what god is associated with each moon and all that stuff. Thank you very much for the posture and the water. I'm going to grab some water, actually. This sounds like a great plan. So. <clears throat> water. Um, stay with me on this thought process here with the gods of sins. Would so we have r review for my own brain to comprehend where we're going with this before I move forward. Gods of creation, initial gods, very basic, primordial, past, first gods. Oh, I know, I know you're just brainstorming. No worries, I I like the brainstorming. I just gotta straighten out the information for my own brain. So the gods of creation created the world. These five, or I should say one became five, or the fives broke up into, yes, there are eight moons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there are six original gods. There are five goddesses, creation, earth, fire, water, and air. And then there is primordial decay or chaos, which wants to destroy all the things. Um, these five goddesses broke down into all of the other gods because reasons. And how do eight moons affect the seas? I would also go with Hoi on this. It's... uh. Magic, because science is not my forte. I mean, I'm sure we could science it somehow. Who's magic? Why the, I don't know, mage's moon. It'll be the god of magic, yes. Actually, it would make more sense if it was the sailor's moon, so the god of the seas, I suppose. Okay, work with me here. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta, I gotta straighten this out. I'm getting too deep in lore without even knowing what I want with these yet. No, I like your questions. I like your questions. They're always good. I think the last time it was that the moons fly through portals. Do they? Did we talk about portals? I don't remember talking about portals. Hang on. Also, I just realized my music stopped for some reason. All right, all right, all right, all right. So, Warrior's Moon, we have the God of Survival, but I think that perhaps it should be... I'm not sure survival is the correct term, but I'm going to put combat here as a stopgap until we... If I could spell it, that'd be great. Until we got another name here. Am I stuck on eight moons? I am inclined to do um, eight moons specifically because um, I might do something along these lines. And I'd like to have the eight moons kind of in place for all of this. Uh, if I do kind of integrate this idea in in some capacity. But I am interested in what your idea is for not eight moons. So feel free to throw it out. But I'm going to continue naming so we still have no sun. 
We don't have a son. Do we need a son? We don't need a son. I, I guess I presumed there would be a son, but I guess you would think that there'd be a god of sun or something, right? Hmm. Hmm. Now I'm thinking. And no god of light. Well, wouldn't that... Wouldn't the sun or light fall into either fire or creation, right? That would fall under the... Although, that being said, maybe we should have some kind of light. So, while there are the, the eight main gods, right, that the months are named after, there would still be lower gods, so we could have a god of light. Uh, or a god of the sun, right? They'd just be down here. I don't know why these eight are so special. I'm just kind of stuck on it in my brain. God of forests? No. God of hunters? God of... Skill? No. Plenty? Cracking? <laughs> uh, there would be eight complex constellations in the skies. The eight moon gods are constellations spaced evenly apart in the sky, and the moon travels along the path that they form. Need more pace for words. And the moon over the course of a year. I like predators. It's not a bad option. Although that might be over here. And this one would be something more fuzzy. Or like broadly good. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to stick with that idea. And the moon over the course of your passes over the constellations. The image making it look like the stars and constellations are holding the moon in some way during that constellation's month. That is entirely a possibility, and I, I do like it. The only thing about it that I might not be inclined for is I actually really like the idea of there being an eclipse once a month for a short period of time like a lunar eclipse because then that kind of leads to a cool dark world kind of vibe and maybe something happens every eclipse hmm Boy, there's a lot of thinking involved in this whole thing, isn't there? You're either reaching for it, or like, it's the... Shield of the War Constellation of the Spyglass of the Sailor's Moon Spyglass. I see. I see. I see what you're going for here. I enjoy the idea of constellations. Don't want the mage moon, the eclipse, a mage messed up now. Messed up and now their moon is gone. Still have the eight eclipse eight times a year once a month. You could, yes. Very much so. Hmm. Well, regardless of whether it's a constellation or a physical moon, we could still have these as the months. I think they'd still 
technically work because you're still working with either a single or eight wounds. So they still apply. I like the idea. I don't know that we I don't know that we have to pick it right this second. But I like the idea. Just trying to decide which one I like the most. <laughs> you know? Um Okay. Combat. I don't know what this is gonna be, but I don't think game is it. Predators might be too intense. We'll see. Uh, the Trader's Moon, so the god of... I don't know what I'd put here for a traitor. God of cowardice, perhaps? <laughs> Is it cowardice, though? Cowardice. I see. Okay. Ooh! Got a... Uh, something. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure what that would be. Let's move on to the mages one. So we got... Uh, god of mages, so the god of magic, god of not creation, the god of Out of curiosity, we could probably make uh, the god of the priest moon be like the god of light or something. I think that could work. If it's a priest's moon, it might be a holy moon, right? Uh, and there was a nice word concept I heard. Basically, the gods place suns over the villages, over villages as protection for monsters, but even gods need to sleep. So once every day, the sun goes out for about eight to ten hours. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny, actually. I like that idea. I mean, that's essentially how they would describe it, right, in theology. grab this information from you hoy for the moment because i'm not sure if i can applicably put that in if i maybe that's a particular god that does that that might be something <laughs> hmm that being said we are going to add here in about 10 seconds so enjoy your ad and we'll see y'all when you get back So let's see. We got... Why would it say it's going to add in one minute and then... Give me a whole other minute of prep. That seems hilarious, but all right. <clears throat> Hmm. 
Welcome back, everybody, from the ads. I hope they were a good time. I'm confused about when the times were appropriate for those ads, but it is what it is. Safety, perhaps? Hmm. All right, I think we're getting somewhere here, guys. So we've got we got the Sailor's Moon, which is the god of the seas. We've got the Merchant's Moon, which is the god of the riches. And I should say, seas is pride, riches is greed. We have the Moyer's Moon, which is god of combat slash god of survival, or perhaps conquering. I think conquering would be a pretty cool one. Um, the god of knowledge could be the god of words or history. Ooh. I mean, knowledge kind of contains both of those thoughts, right? Uh, words and history. It's, it's like a broad, positive term for the god. Whereas, god of power? Eh, it could be a negative connotation. So maybe... Language... Yeah, I feel like those are all encompassed by the god of knowledge. Just in general, knowledge, right? Which would be the mage's moon. So I feel like knowledge and mages, they kind of go uh, right, right hand in hand. Uh, Trader's moon, I got the god of safety or cowardice, right? Simple fact that you can exchange idea is really powerful. Oh, you mean like, if I was talking about the god of knowledge, it could be the god of language, or the god of words, or the god of history, but it's the same god regardless, right? Like so. Yeah, 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 I get you. I see where you're going here. I was putting in the slashes because I wasn't really sure if that's what I wanted to go with. And I was like, slash will tell me, you know, something. God of nature and then predators make sense. I don't know, predator. Predator feels like such a strong word, right? A hunter isn't the right word. It needs to be more uh, violent, scary, powerful than hunter. But I feel like predator is too much. It doesn't quite hit the right term. I'm trying to think, like, what you could pr describe it as, like food chain, and predator is what comes to mind. Yeah, maybe Predator is the word. I don't know about this Traitor Moon, though. That one feels weird to me. Safety and Cowardice? I'm not sure that's really, like... Quite right. But, I mean, we could change... We could change Traitor's Moon to something else, too. Traitor could be a different god. Entirely. It doesn't have to be a main... Thoroughfare god here, right? Hmm. That could do. The god of luck and the god of gambling. Would it still be traitor, though? I feel like traitor is not the right 
term then and we could make him a, a secondary like a lower god so this would be like chance or uh, to betray somebody is always a gamble. That's true. But what about luck being the more positive version? Because if it's because I like this idea where there's like a positive and a negative because then you can treat it either way. So if the traders traders moon is luck. Fortune's a really good word. But fortune also kind of falls under riches, right? God of fortune or god of greed. I kind of like fortune better than riches, to be honest. Yeah, 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 yeah. there we go. We're getting, we're getting there. This is gonna take. This takes a minute, but we're gonna get there. You know. <laughs> so right now we're working on Trader's Moon to be the god of opportunity or the god of gambling opportunity is a really good option I like that word that's a good word so if I were a trader and I had an opportunity, right? See that tracks, and you could double down as a gambling god. That's that could that, that could work. It feels a little weird, but like maybe I spelled opportunity wrong. Yeah, O P P O O R. Okay, I see. So we've got. God of opportunity gambling. Trader is an opportunist or a gambler, which tracks, I suppose. Because trader. I think that one looks good. I think the hunter's moon being the god of nature and the predator isn't bad either because it could also be like hunting or uh tracking your your quarry whether that's a person or an animal the god of knowledge goes by many names but he's also known as the god of power because knowledge is power did you and uh priest's moon right priest moon is the god of light or the holy moon or positivity or goodness as a whole not sure how we turn that evil because like these ones all make sense right pride greed conquering gambling I could make it unholy or I could make it uh, some kind of necrotic or I think I want to change up the music. Some of this is a little too soft, guys, and it's killing me. I want to do the dungeon music, but the dungeon music is probably for a different day, you know what I mean? Here, we'll do this. There we are. Much more upbeat. Love it. So we'll go with the god of light or the god of um I, I my word that came to mind was like unholy or abusive or I'd make that the god of pride simple because they want everybody to show they are better. You know, that could track. If we made that one pride. Then what would the god of the seas be? 
you have the god of the seas, so maybe instead of the seas it would be exploration. And maybe this would be conquest, but I feel like that still falls under the, the warriors, so... God of ownership, perhaps, or something along those lines? Ownership. I mean, that's pretty negative, right? So, like, I'm thinking, if you're doing exploration, what's the negative side of exploration? You're bringing disease or unknowns or destroying a way of life, colonization, ownership, slavery, wrath. Wrath is like a storm. I think... It was you or Ryan who brought up Wrath earlier, and Wrath could do. What are the seven deadly sins, actually? Deadly sins. We have envy, gluttony, greed, lust, pride, sloth, and wrath. So that was kind of my follow-up thought, is we came up with some really cool ideas and names for these gods. But, like, some of these are seven deadly sin stuff, and I wouldn't mind the idea of doing a sin, like a god of sin and a god, or whatever, like pairing them up. Or even having multiple sets. I don't know. I don't know. There's something here. I'm just trying to think of what it is. I'm trying to place it. You know what I mean? Like... Because if we had all these with their opposites, I'm just going to shove it in above the lower gods. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Pride. What is happening? What? What if I did this? Hang on. What if we do? I want to. I want to try. I want to try going down this route with the Seven Deadly Sins version, like full on Seven Deadly Sins, and see which one we like better. So, um, they don't necessarily have to line up. Gods can only be born and exist as twins. Yeah, that makes sense. Gotta have the bad with the good and all. I don't know that you'd necessarily have to have a twin if they're not a major thing, like a sin or something big like knowledge or love or something. As if it's God of the Smoothies, what's the opposite of a smoothie, right? Like iced tea? I don't know. That's his, that's the big bad is the god of iced tea. <laughs> uh, god of chunks. God of ice cubes that don't get blended properly. And then you can't drink any of the smoothie because they just freaking get stuck in the straw. Uh, anyway, so... We've got... Let me do this. Hang on.
There we go. We got a bodybuilders. Testosterone Maximus. God of smoothies is the god of crisps. Lol. So here's our basic list of the seven deadly sins. There should be an eighth one. There's always like an eighth one, right? Quote unquote. Well, our eighth option is acedia, which is like apathy, eagerness, oblivion, deception, or willful ignorance. Why willful? I guess it'd have to be willful. <laughs> Humility and pride. Makes sense. Charity and greed, absolutely. Chastity and lust, got it. Apathy. Apathy is a good one. So looking at the at the seven deadly sins here, I like this idea. However. I feel like this could be difficult to make practically to the point where I kind of wondering if maybe these gods shouldn't be dual like this if maybe they should just be the thing and that thing encompasses both good and bad right new moon and full moon cycles you could get really complex with that honestly that might be too complex for for this starting stage i know that we need to flesh it out but like i don't know that i want to flesh that out too deeply yet i think i want to understand it more I'm glad you guys understand how to use this uh, stream avatar thing. <laughs> I just like the little people. They make me happy. Alright, here's where I'm at. I like the idea of seven deadly sins. However, I don't think I want to pursue that because I think it's going to be too cliche. I would much rather just go here and cut out this, this extra other half, right? and leave them as very basic, simplistic, but obvious gods. These are all very different in what they are. Uh, and I think that, that that could be really useful. Welcome in, Sunik. Hope you're having a great day. Uh, oh, how'd your... Um, I think I left you when you were playing League. How's that, how did that go? Did you win? This sounds like a like a Mario water level. <laughs> Only the best in the box. Got my fuzz fizz skin. Oh, you one of them. That damn fuzz fizz. Ugh. But I'm glad you had a good time at least. I will go now. Have fun, guys. Later, Hoy. Thank you for sticking around, and I hope you had a good time. Uh, have fun, whatever you're off to do, and, you know, stay safe, stay bold. Yeah, this music is a little too soft for me. Move forward. God of Exploration, Fortune Combat. I like how simple this is. I think that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for simplicity that I can broaden as needed as we go. Now they need names.
Imagine the moon cycling through the constellation of Eclipse and Discord. Let's take a look. Oh, you straight drew a picture. Hang on, I gotta... I gotta put this in the chat. Hang on. This is worthwhile. There we are. Okay. So let's take a look here. This is a beautiful image, by the way. Like, I understand it in its simplicity and all that, but like, this is great. Okay, so let's take a closer, closer look at what we got going on here. Let me, let me open this thing up on my own so I can look at it a little closer. So we have all the the eight different two, four, six, wait, two, four, six. Yeah, that's eight. My brain my brain can do that. That's fine. So we have our we have our eight or whatever. And each one is a constellation. And the moon would be eclipsed by the sun as opposed to another moon instead in this way. Oh, they are color-coded. You are correct. Good get. Very smart. So, let's let's take the, the far-right example here, uh, if I was looking at that, which is going to be the moon that would be up would be the blue moon, which is the sailor's moon. And I think you have an orange eclipse. So the constellation is the constellation in the sky during the sailor's moon going to be the traitor's constellation or is it the sailor's constellation? I'm confused. I'm bad with astrology. <laughs> Hmm. You're doing lunar eclipse at the opposite, closer to the planet. Yeah, I think that might be what I'm thinking of, because this is a solar eclipse. So the moon rotates around as the planet rotates around. I see. I see how you did this, actually. I'm following the dots now. I think this is a practical way to do it. So whether or not... I think it's, it kind of becomes a design choice if you wanted one moon or eight moons. I'm going to shove this into our work in progress for later. That way we can take a look at it later uh, if we want. But I like I like this idea. I like this idea a lot. I'm gonna let's push it. You can go right over here. Look at that guy. Look at him. So I put it in here as well. I guess I don't really need it in this picture spot anymore, because obviously. So regardless of whether I do a constellation or, um, oh damn, you are fast, sir.
So now we have lunar and solar. Actually, this is really cool, to be honest. Just to even have these up over here, this is, like, really neat to me. I think this is a decision we can make later. It shouldn't be a big deal. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave these here. But this is old. Do I want to leave this here? I kind of like the ideas of these being their own god rather than being part of these gods. Or maybe they're just a subset. Let's do that. getting somewhere guys it's starting to it's starting to look like we're getting a real world put together here crazy so we don't need the months in here anymore now that we know exactly what we got so we've got the god of exploration god of fortune god of combat god of nature god of opportunity god of knowledge god of light and god of love some of these should be I'd like to kind of mix it up and give some of them something different now make 13 heathen gods lower gods or heathen gods like the 3,000 plus different deities in real life. <sighs> Lol. That'd be a lot, actually. So, we already have a God of the Light. Which I feel like could also double down as God of the Sun. We don't have Traitor anymore, so T R A Traitor. T R A I T O R. Yeah. Uh hey, welcome in, Anna. How's it going? How's life? I hope you're having a wonderful Wednesday. We are dialing in on the gods currently. Which I will explain momentarily. Like the Flying Spaghetti Monster, Cthulhu, or Super Windingo. Why is it the Super Windingo? <laughs> Life is lifing. Day has been pretty okay. Okay is better than bad, hopefully. But I'm glad that your day has been... Okay. <laughs> um... So we're kind of dialing in on the gods, and I don't know if you were here for the, um, I'll go over and check it out. Hang on. Zoom. So we created a time system. Um, so what we have is we have our traditional 24 hour days. There are 20 days in a month, which is a five day week. There are eight months in a year, and each year is part of an eight year cycle. We love a good old God of War to give humans a reason for idiocy. I mean, do we need that reason to be idiots? No. Does it help? Probably. Uh, so we named up some days. So we got uh, Fur's Day. First, I changed this up. First, first day. We have Erd, which is the second day of the week. We have Where. We have Aquare. Aquer, Aquer, whatever. And we have wire, 
which is the, f the fifth day. So these are our five days of the week. Each month is dictated by a different colored moon or, in theory, a constellation that the moon is held by. Um, we're still kind of working out the details there because I'm not sure if I want eight actual moons, which I think could be really neat and just cool from a fantasy world standpoint. Or if we want to be focused more on a more traditional single moon world with constellations, which could lead into some magical astrology kind of stuff, which sounds really cool. So with this in mind, we've started to develop over here. So the five, um, the five days of the week are dictated by the, the five, uh, initial gods of creation, if you will. I think I am going to leave that as life. Uh, so we have the goddess of life, earth, fire, water, and air. Um, the short the short version is, is that there's six main gods of creation, which are kind of like the tippity toppity tier of everything. We also have primordial decay, which is like not necessarily evil or destructive necessarily. It just is, because all things end, kind of vibes. It's not um, being evil in its end or anything like that. It just is ending and destroying and just doing what it normally does. Uh, and then we have just finished up working on the moons, which is what we've been doing for most of this session. We did initially have kind of a Seven Deadly Sins vibe going on here, but... I ended up nixing it. I wanted something a little more simple, a little more broad, so each god could encompass more things. So, for example, for the Sailor's Moon, you have the god of exploration, merchants, you have the god of fortune, warriors, combat, hunters, is nature. Uh, we had something else here, but I forgot that. Why do traders get a moon? We changed this, but I don't remember what we changed it to. I'll have to... I'll have to go back and find out. Hang on. Opportunity. Wait. No. Hang on. Oh my god, there's so much happening. Yeah, okay, so this is what we ended up with. Was the God of Opportunity and Gambling, not Traitor. Uh, but we didn't rename the Moon. So... Guess we should rename the Moon! Oh, it's a Traitor's Moon. Time to stab everyone you know in the bag for free. Opportunity. Well, let's come up with a new name. Cause yeah, I like I like uh I like the idea of the god of opportunity, but I don't know what it would be exactly. Cause I wanna say gambler, because that was uh that's what Hoy suggested earlier. But Gambler sort of falls under Fortune, right? Oh, maybe that was what we did. We did we did say Luck, I just forgot it. So, Moon of Luck, Luck Moon. Lucky Moon. Charming Moon. Opportunistic Moon. There's something here. I don't know what it is. Yeah, we'll leave it as Lucky Moon for the time being. That's fine. So anyway, yeah, we have um, the god of each moon, right? And so this is whatever god is, is um, celebrated per moon. So for the Sailor's Moon, for that entire month, the god of exploration might be celebrated. Or if it applies later down the line, they might be more powerful. 
or there would be festivals or, or whatever the case may be. Um, and then I think we're finally hitting lower god levels here. I have blanks in front of each for when we name them, but they haven't been named yet. Uh, so let's grab uh, some of these down here. So we've got... Mm, well, we've got the God of Smoothies folding and fishing so far. I just said all three, and I already forgot what the third one was. Folding. No, bending. Or did I say folding? I think I said folding. So we got God of the Turncoat, God of Fishing, God of Smoothies, God of Folding. And now we just need a butt-ton of non- specific things. Also, I just saw I missed the Wendingo bit. I have super Wendingos in my game. They, like the Lorax, speak for the trees, and they are coming for your knees. <laughs> That's fabulous, actually. Oh. Good stuff. That's funny. Um, okay, so we got Todd the Trauma God. God of Trau Trauma T R A U A M A? No. How the hell do you spell trauma? That's how you spell trauma? Alright. Todd. God of trauma. Yes, that's trauma. I would know. Lol. Does he cause trauma or just take the blame? Um, I would assume he causes trauma, specifically as when we created him. Where is he? Where's Todd? Todd's in here. Todd's right here. This whole section is Todd. So Todd was uh, the god where anybody who worships him upon birth, one parent dies, leaving the child traumatized. Um, supernatural twins are common, apparently. And every so often, a wordman gives birth to seven children, and the seventh child is always extremely powerful. And then, the options for the one parent dying, right, was supernatural. One of them dies when the child is born. Or you have all the Madden manual options, which is you have an assassin to maintain appearances that's sent out by the church. You have, uh, the baby absorbs the parent's life force. Maybe the parent was going to die anyway, or maybe it's fate. Uh, another manual one is the child is tricked into killing their parents when they come of age. Uh, another one is what if the parents have to fight one another for the right to raise the child to the death. So when you turn five, your parents have to fight to the death if both of them are alive. However, if only one of them is alive, then the single parent has to either choose to kill their kid, or they have to fight another single parent. And if they win the fight killing the other, they are tasked with raising the now parentless child as a servant of that household, which makes for some wild ideas. This was, like, y'all went off. That was day one that we did this. And if gods are causing trauma, then consider how the gods can influence the world directly, and what are the limits of this. I love gods that have a Spartan mentality. At least there's some buff-ass kids champion-level people. <laughs> yeah, the Spartans were fucked, but yeah, they, they did have a hell of a military. Um, I'm not sure that Todd directly is intervening, right? This seems... Like, only one option was Supernatural, where Todd actually intervenes. The rest of them are just... Im um... um not forced. Well, maybe forced. But, like, you're required to do it due to your beliefs. So that would be, like, the same as if you were getting baptized, right? Like, it's just part of your religion. 
Uh, you were born into this god's religion. They only allow 10,000 followers. Figure it out amongst yourselves. That's hilarious. Options for opportunity. Freedom, probability, openness, fantasy, advantage, triumph, success, net gain. <laughs> net gain's getting in, period. Hang on. The rest of them I like, too. So let's... Options for opportunity. Net game covers so much. Net game is a long standing joke at this point. Options for opportunity. Here, I'm going to do this. Freedom, probability, openness, fantasy, advantage, triumph, success, net gain. I feel like some of these might fall under some of the other ones as well. <laughs> I love her was gain when it was like net gain. <laughs> uh, the obese serial killers, bankers, collectors, entropy enthusiasts. <laughs> what do you fucking mean? Which one are you talking about? Serial killers. Opportunity? Oh, that would make sense. Bankers, collectors, entropy enthusiasts, the obese. Opportunities being like... You're at a buffet, and you just keep getting more food because you have the opportunity. The kind of things with God is they kind of overlap each other a lot. Yeah. <laughs> no, they all worship the net gain God. <laughs> I'll leave this in here. We'll have to we'll have to dive into that. I think with a little bit more. Um, serial killer, obese. I mean, you're not wrong. It just depends on perspective, I suppose. I do think that's accurate, at least. Collectors. All right, let's go back down here. Um, Drama God is another one. We have the Suffering God. Why are all the gods like such terrible people? You could do so much with the bad gods. God of trauma causing trauma. Uh, all, the la all the capital G gods are busy constructing new worlds. Oh yeah, that's what we were talking about. So we have Edward. Oh, yeah, we have Abacuscus. I'm going to stick with Abacuscus because I think that's hilarious. Uh, and then we have the God of Progress. Oh, 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 no, stop. I guess I could have just done it this way. This would have made much more sense. Ha ha. Caught a trauma causing drama because they aren't people, so who cares? <laughs> we are playthings. If I was a god, lol, yeah. I mean, how many people did you kill in video games that were unnecessary? You know what? Too many, but to be fair, I always play the good guy first, and eventually, if I hear Oh, let me guess. Somebody stole your sweet roll enough. I just murder everybody in the town. Like, I can only be bothered by the same voice line like 200 times, and then I just lose my shit. <laughs> Eventually. Uh, God of Progress. God of... Whoop. Um, I think those are probably the same thing, right? Trauma and suffering? No. That's not the same thing. They can be different. Alright, guys. 
I need some more gods. We can have as many as we can think of. There's really not a limit on this one. Now that we're like past the the top tier gods, it's pretty much like, oh, that sounds like a funny god. Let's go. I guess these could be more specific, but like, I don't know. Because fishing might fall under nature, right? But it's not the same thing. I love trickster gods. Me too, actually. Uh, so the god of... What? Tricks? Or not tricks. I think that's too basic. Comedy, humor... No, because it's somebody like... Hang on. Desnuets. God of... Your mom. How's that? Desnuets. God of your mom. God of ping pong. Uh, God of... I don't know. God of games? God of entertainment? God of magecraft? We kind of have magecraft a little bit here, because during the mage's moon we have the God of knowledge. Which kind of falls into that, I feel like. By the way, welcome in, Burton. Hope your Wednesday is going well. The Saint of Crabs. Are you talking... Actual, like, crabs? Because I feel like that could be the god of fish. Or fishing. I'll call it the god of fish. Saint Crab. Saint Edward Crab. Saint of Cancer, yes, yes, and also, yeah. Just imagine a man of robe colored by an army of crabs. That's fair. That's fair. I like that. That sounds funny to me. The Crab Rave. Crab Rave. So, God of Magecraft. Is Magecraft different than knowledge? And if so, how? is my follow-up question here. I'm going to put it in here just for the time being so that it is not forgotten. Anything can be different or similar from to any yeah that's a fair point maybe it's just a more specialized one or whatever des nuets god of god of yoram no god of yoramum your mum? Your mum. Fuck it, that's fine. I'm stuck on that because I think it's funny as shit. Gods would pop up that people would pray for for protection from other gods, like the god of the god of protection of motherhood, the goddess of vigilance. So by the time you get to the lower gods, they all fund under the previous upper gods, or they fight over purposes all the time. God of flowers, done, done, and done. God of magecraft. God of Motherhood, God of Vigilance, God of Flowers, God of Luminosity, done. I think we, we have a good thing going here, and we can just continue adding to these, because these gods are just like, you know, they could be anything.
I can see with such apathetic, slightly evil gods. This would cause many lesser gods people would pray to protect against them. So maybe they're picking something that's a little more specific because the big ones are busy, right? Yeah. Well, I feel like at that point, all of these things that Anna suggested would just be their own god, right? The god of freedom. It's just a dude on a fucking scooter with a minigun. Just artificers. Which sounds super entertaining to me, actually. God of Freedom has to be nude permanently. <laughs> so maybe God of Freedom is the God of nudity. We I mean, have the God of Enlightenment, God of Blissful Ignorance, the God of the Craft, God of the Hunt and the Harvest, God of Jewels and Safety, Gods of Bondage and Pleasure, Gods of Probability. Alright, here's here's what we're doing. We're gonna scruff that. We're gonna pop it here. If I could spell, that'd be cool. <clears throat> I don't know, advantage, quick. Triumph? Take the ones that didn't get used and put them back up there. Okay, hang on, wait. We got... Got an enlightenment. Blissful ignorance sounds super specific. I mean, I understand some of these are quite specific. But God of Bliss and God of Ignorance could be two different things. Maybe they just double team. Or maybe, maybe they want to be. I don't know. Got gods of the craft. We kind of have gods of mage craft up here. God of hunt and harvest. They are two faced, like two personalities. <laughs> gods of bliss and ignorance. Multiple personalities. Ah, uh, got a freedom. Got a freedom. Naked. <laughs> God of the forge. God of the flame and the hearth. God of wood and trees. God. Of... There's a lot of gods you throw it out here. Hang on. No, like literally two faces on one hit. Oh, I like that. I'm just gonna call it Two Face because that will make sense to my brain later when I'm looking at this. Uh, do we have a slam poetry god? Giant nude hippo. Uh, we do not have a poetry god, so slam poetry. I'll even put that in there. I don't know if slam will stick, but I like poetry at least. God of Morning Dew. I thought that said Mountain Dew at first, and I was like, the god of Mountain Dew. There you go. At this point, guys, we're probably good on the lower gods. This is a little out of control. <laughs> Oh yeah, we got God of the Weave, God of the Changing Sky, God of Tomorrow's Sun, God Bread, surprisingly prevalent and strong. God of Temptation, God of Natural Slate, God of Theater. I, I don't even know where to like begin here. There's so many. 
All right, I'm just gonna start copying. This is fine. This is fine. Bap. God of the crafts. God of the hunt and harvest. Jewels and safety? That seems like an interesting combination. What's the name of the bot in Futurama? Wait, not... It's the one that's on the, uh, the like, walking chair. And I can't remember. No, the other one. Not <laughs> Fender. Um, Hedonism. Hedonism bot. That's what I'm trying to think of. That's, that's what this one sounds like. I don't even know how to spell that. Hedonism bot. H-E-D-O... And I, I was pretty close. Never spelled that before, but that makes sense. God of Hedonism. Uh, I could have a God of Morning Dew that lives on a mountain. I think Morning Dew got suggested at some point, actually. Uh, God of... Well, what would be a word for food, like luxurious food? God of ambrosia, perhaps? Decadence? Decadence is a good word. Ooh, gluttony. That's the word. That's the word we're looking for. Kind of like decadent stuff. Damn. Hang on. We're just gonna do this. We'll come back to that later. At this point, we're just going for it. Indulgence. That's a good word too. Oh my god! So many gods, guys. Um, we don't need that. That's not part of this. Actually, I don't think I even grabbed this at all. I Have a couscous. God of mathematics. God of pestilence. Got a betrayal and absorption. Ups yeah, usurption. Got a discipline. God of decay. Oh, actually, you weren't here for this. Burton, but uh, we did kind of come up with a decay. So, top top tier of the gods, five god. Well, there's six six top tier top tier gods, right? Uh, these five created the world, and then this one is of course trying to not destroy it. It's not a not a not a violent destruction. Um, but like everything goes away eventually, so that's what it is. So these would be your top tiers, and then you have your eight main ones, right? Unethereal sound. You're just naming things now. It's so funny to me. So we have God per per moon phase, and then then all the lower gods that were just blasting out at this point. Flagellation. 
Spicy. God of unethereal sounding. Is it unethereal or unearth? No, unethereal. Why is it unethereal? Your ethereal. Ethereal? We have sexual desires, yet we do have the god of pleasure, or hedonism. Or lust, I suppose. Hang on, what do we have for the hunt? In nature, that's not necessarily the god of the hunt. I feel like the god of probability probably falls under mathematics, so I'm gonna... Put it in here and remove probability. Intelligence is knowing Frankenstein was not the monster. Wisdom is knowing Frankenstein was the monster. <laughs> That's fair. That's very fair. Oh, there's a lot of gods. Got a fruit and green. Uh, very true. God of the turncoat. St. Edward Crab. God of fish. We have... God of Smoothies, which for all intents and purposes is Neto. Because I think that's super funny. We have Bender. These names are going to have to change because I can't necessarily use Bender. I think that'd be too Bendarius, perhaps, or something. <laughs> God of Unexplicable Luck. We got Todd, the God of Trauma. The God of Drama. The God of Suffering. The god of progress, or smog, or production. We have Desnuets, the god of Yormum. We have the god of games. Yeah, I think that's fine. It could be entertainment, but... God of plot armor. Lol. God of never giving up. Alright, alright. Alright, hang on. I'm just going through them. God of Magecraft, God of Motherhood, God of Vigilance, God of Flowers, God of Luminosity, God of Freedom, who is naked. God of Fantasy, I'm not sure. Would Fantasy fall into, like, Pleasure, do you think? It's not necessarily Pleasure, I suppose. Hmm. No, fantasy could be its own thing, I think. God of triumph or winning or whatever. We have the god of net gain, god of enlightenment. So that's some level of knowledge or learning something. We have the god of bliss and ignorance. We have the god of slam poetry, the god of the craft, the god of hunt and harvest, the god of jewels, the god of safe travels, the god of pleasure, which has lust and hedonism. We have the god of decadence, which is gluttony or indulgence. We have Abacuscus, god of mathematics or probability. And then we have the god of pain and agony, which includes uh, fl flagellation. These are so many gods. Caught of convincing your neighbors you're not a necromancer. Necro not. <laughs> God of puppetry. Okay, for the time being, I'd say unless there's a specific god we want to talk about, we're probably good on gods for the moment. Because you could make a god out of anything in the lower god section. We got the big ones. That was that was the point. That was my goal, in any case. Mm. You have read the one in order... You have to read the one in order for the joke to hit. God of convincing your neighbors you are not a necromancer? God of gate, grave digging, God of exploration, God of finding rare books, God of ancient spoken words, God of the return, God of lies, God of the gorilla, the guile tongue. God of convincing your neighbors you're not a necromancer. I like that last one though, that's funny. Okay. Ooh. Non-intrusive. Will not enter speed outside of cataclysmic events. I 
actually I will leave that. No. Hmm. That was all steps to necromancy. <laughs> I mean, you are right, actually. <laughs> So I think we're good on gods for the moment. Let me do this. I was kind of shuffling everything back up here. Nope, this one. Ooh, this is a great song and all, but that'll get me caught. Caught of the chink in the armor. That's funny. Okay. I think we've gotten pretty much everything out of... Here, that's fine. Where's Todd? All the capital G gods. I think this was a this was an idea we had, but we kind of have left this behind. So I'm gonna remove that. These don't matter at this point, so we're gonna remove that. All right, the gods have kind of been figured out and created, so that's a plus. Ooh, that was a lot, guys. That was a that was a whole lot of gods being created and stuff. What a time. Kind of deciding if we should dive into another subject or if, like, I'm good on gods for the moment. I don't think we need more god stuff. And now that we have time in place, I can just start creating all of my notes here. Quick building of the physical world. Uh, oh, you mean as in a map? Possibly, but I think I could dive too deeply into that. Not that I'm not interested, but... God's overview. New folder. Uh, moon gods? I don't know. Call them that for now. Boop. Bam. We're getting somewhere. Um, no, I don't think I want to build a map out. I think that might just be a session in and of itself. Because that... That'll take me about the time frame of one of these streams. You know? So I'm not too concerned with that. Not yet. I think we're going to get there. 
That might be next session, to be honest with you. Ooh. Right now, I'm just kind of creating pages for each of these so that I can come back to them at a later point. But I think my brain, honestly, from all the adulting I had to do, my brain is kind of tired, and I might just call it. Because, like, it's, it's pretty burned, honestly. I got up at, like, 7 a.m., and I'm like, Meh. I could type deeper into that, that's what she said. Absolutely. We got to get a counter on that, actually. At some point. I think that'll be one of my things I work on. Um, I haven't put any information out on it yet, but probably in the next couple of weeks, I'm probably going to be doing a subathon and a little bit of a rework on the channel to be more clear about what exactly my theme is, because right now it's a bit mishmashed. I arrive. What do you mean I spelled Fagrim wrong? Oh my god, it's been spelled wrong this whole time. Hilarious. No one told me. I've just been sitting here with the wrong spelled Fagrim this whole time. Yep, I know. I know. Two, two hours, 15 minutes, and 32 seconds as of right now. <laughs> The streamer is always right. Lies! Lies and slander. Um, the mods are always right. Actually, with the rework, the mods should be able to do all of the mod things. Uh, which we'll totally get to. <laughs> oh no! What? Ha I don't know how to undo that. By the way, how does one undo a timeout? I only have the button for timeouts. I don't have a button for untiming out. What if I click it again? Oh, okay. Hang on. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, so good. Ten minutes. <laughs> oh, such good times. Um, let's see here. I have been bumped. That is fair. Actually, I'm hoping to get a little, uh, like, hammer bonking image when that happens, too. I think that'd be pretty fun. Um, yeah, I don't really have a whole lot going on. My brain's tired, guys. I think we're probably just gonna, we're just gonna chit-chat now and maybe raid out in a minute, because brain tired. What happens if I click this button. Wait, not that button. Wrap that button. So I see that some of you have decorated your little fellas, and then some of you have not. And I think perhaps... Well, sound alerts can go over there, because I gotta do that. Lilith. Ryan. Snack. There. Look at you guys getting stuck up there. We're gonna select sound alerts. We're gonna make them green. We're gonna give them... I don't know. How about a... What kind of face can I give them? That's great. Burn out here defaulting. 
Shame on the conformers. We're just going to go randomly here and click that. Done. Now it's a Cyclops. And I can unpin that now. There. Problem solved, see? We'll make fun of the people who are conformed. Look at them hanging there. Don't be one of them. Be more than that. But in any case, um, who do I got that's online right now? You guys interested in Destiny or Baldur's Gate? I know Baldur's Gate probably falls under the D&D &D thing, so we'll do that. Yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> Alright, let me grab it. This is, uh, if you haven't watched, if you have not played through Baldur's Gate, this will be a spoiler area. So be aware, this is like Final Fight level stuff. But here's what I'm going to do. Raid. Bam. Okay, so this is Arkentos. Uh, he's a funny guy. I like him a lot. I come watch him every so often. He's a cool fella. Uh, likes to do D and D and other RPG like games. It's a great old time. <laughs> uh, let's do this. Bold raid, and then do my little symbols. Uh, I gotta build this all out. Bap bap. Bap. Okay, I know. <laughs> because I want you to do. What is Raid Gen? I don't know. In any case, guys, as always, it's always a pleasure having you guys here. I love World Building Wednesday. I'm happy to continue it. We're going to be doing this again on next Wednesday, so make sure you pop in. I will have a focused, uh, specific thing uh, that we'll be working on on that day. As usual, if you're interested in playing in my one-shots or becoming a player in a campaign, you can scan the little bar up there and join our Discord. Otherwise, have a great day and uh, stay bold.